very exciting Radio Row Super Bowl week. This is what it's all about. Little Dicky is with us right now. This is it. This is why we do it, right? This is what it's all Moments about. Moments like this. This Are is you why you do what? You do what you do for this moment right <laughs> yeah, here? Just so I can get on this radio show and yeah. rock out with you folks. Okay. Yeah. Are you enjoying yourself? I, mean, I am. Look, I'm a social guy. It's like, you know, obviously I'm here to promote Mountain Dew, right. uh, so I'm getting paid to be here. Mm -hmm. Yes. But I was, there's a not many more pleasant ways to make money than what's going on You right would have now. been here for free. It's just the payment's a plus. I wouldn't go that far. Okay. <laughs> yeah. 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 Just walking around. Yeah. Around. Yeah. Just, hey. This is what we do it for. Who wants to talk to me? Yeah. yeah. I don't know. <laughs> what are you doing with Mountain Dew? Look, I don't know if you're aware, but this flavor, Baja Blast, and I'm, you know, obviously I'm being paid to say this, but I wouldn't align myself with a corporation or a product that I didn't actually love. So right. this Baja Blast soda has only been accessible at like Taco Bell drive throughs for the last 20 years. You couldn't get it anywhere else. Mm -hmm. and I always loved it. Every time I would go there, I'd be like, what is this mysterious soda that is just not offered? Mm -hmm. 20 years later for their anniversary, they're now releasing it everywhere. You can go to any convenience store in America and you can get it. I'm here to spread that message. You got that down, I, man. I, hey, I'm born. I'm born to, to spread that. I, I truly love this flavor of soda, so I'm happy to tell everyone that it's out and it's here. Uh, have you like? Is there anyone here that you've met where you're like, oh my god, I can't believe I'm meeting this person, or you no. don't care? I think it's the other <laughs> way around, right? No, I have not, not experienced. I have not, I have not experienced. Do you that like football? I love football. Do you really? I love it. Oh my god. So you haven't like walked into like Dan Marino or someone and been like, where oh the hell god. is Dan Marino? I haven't. No, I haven't. Well, seen he was him. supposed to be here, but he blew us off. The only person I, is Cam Hayward. Is the only person that I saw really? where I was like, yeah, at least he's like a Pro Bowler. But like, <laughs> you know, I, I don't know. I, I haven't seen Marino. I haven't seen any Hall of Famer. No, I, I haven't met anybody like There's that. There's been lots of Pro or he most, you know. Raheem Mostert? Yeah. He was here. Didn't see him. Doesn't do anything for you. <laughs> I mean, he doesn't nah, He's a good player. Yeah. And I, I like I like his career. It's like an interesting career. But yeah. Uh, I No, I haven't seen him. Are you uncomfortable with the amount of people? Are people coming up to you, right? Like, yeah. I'm want, not, I'm, to meet you? I'm a pretty uh, affable social man, so I'm okay with it. Have you been able to somewhat blend in in this situation? Not with the sweater. No? Yeah, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> You know? Why'd you choose that sweater today? I was told days? I was told to wear something unbranded, and then I like looked and like everything I owned just said like <laughs> Nike or Adidas. Okay. So it's like this is what was unbranded. I thought this right. is a pleasant look. I don't know. I don't know it why. It's nice. It's okay. Yeah. It's a little hot in here for the sweater. That's the thing. Outside it's, it's cold, but yeah. when you come yeah. in here and all the lights are on, it's pretty hot. Yeah. It's yeah. True. Yeah. Are you going to the game? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if no. you could go to the game, would you go to the game? No, I wouldn't. Why? I. I, I <laughs> First off, I just happen to like watching football more on TV. I, yeah, I right. like the yellow line. I like the replays. I like the analysis. I turned down in 2018 when the Eagles – I'm an Eagles fan. When the Eagles were okay. in the Super Bowl in Minneapolis, turned down free tickets to go back to Philly to watch the game on TV with all my best childhood friends. They won – Storm the city. No better night in my life. What a good decision. I just don't think football is a great live sport. Interesting. Do any Eagles do anything for you? Donovan, McNab Donovan McNabb's over there. Are you excited about that? That Nothing would excite me more. I'm a huge McNabb guy, and I would like you to point out where he is. Okay. To we'll track down well, Donovan second. McNabb for you. This is going to be interesting. Yeah. Our buddy is Mike Golick. He does his show with us often. Do you know who Mike Golick is? Yeah. Okay. You know he's an Eagle. Yeah. Does that excite you? Uh, <laughs> you know, McNabb is my quarterback. Yeah, he's right. over there. I mean, when I when I think of when I think of the Eagles and I think of like who like who is my quarterback? Yeah. That's McNabb. And I also think McNabb kind of got an unfair shake from the city of Philadelphia. And I think like, look, I'm the kind of guy who would rather contend for a decade uh -huh. and not win than be irrelevant and win one year. So I like interesting. I would just I, McNabb gave me a decade worth of like we're in it every year and I yes. have hope for like 11 months or whatever. It is. Yep. So does Andy Reid do anything for you or he not really because he, he didn't do anything for you? He does everything for me. OK. Like, I always loved him. I wish that he you know, by the end of his Eagles run, I thought that we did. It was OK to get a new voice in there because we were kind of losing the same way every year. And uh -huh. it felt like like but I no one was rooting for him to win more in 2020 than me. I love him. I still root for him for this day. I'm rooting for the Chiefs in the Super Bowl because of him. So, I, yes, I love Andy Sirianni, Reed. though, he's out of his mind, right? I mean. <laughs> I don't know Sirianni. I, I think this season is a real indicator of uh, how important coordinators are in the NFL. And yeah. like two years ago, we had Shane Steichen and – uh, uh, why can't I remember? The, he's the coach of the Cardinals now. Oh, Gannon? Yeah. yeah. And I just think, you know, we let two stud coordinators get away, and we hired two kind of new coordinators, and, they, and now we fired them. I think it's really important who your coordinators are. And so Sirianni, I think, I, I give him credit for, like, his initial assembly was, like, two stud coordinators. Yeah. Right. 
And I'm going to give them, I think Fangio and uh, Kellen Moore are the right hires, too. So I feel good about the current state of the Eagles. I did not think that we were going to go see deep in the weeds on the Eagles see, coordinators I'm a here real today. Guy. No, it's, it's great. You thought I, I was it. a phony. <laughs> no, I didn't think you were a phony. <laughs> I didn't. You didn't in think fact, I would talk about Vic Fangio. <laughs> okay, I'm glad that you brought Thanks. up that you're a phony because I was yeah. told something about your pre, before you blew up, blew up. When you were famous but not as famous as you are now, a story. And I wanted you to either confirm or deny this story because it was told to me last night. So, Stugatz, you're going to be proud of this. Okay. You were once again uh, on Highly Questionable with Dan Levitard and Bomani Jones. Yep. Okay, I was told that one of their producers saw you out in a bar before you were on their show. And you guys were talking, you guys kind of hit it off, and then this person like reached out to you and you're like, I'm friends with Bomani, we talk all the time. So uh -huh. then he said, okay, and we booked, they booked you on the show. Uh -huh. Then he then reached out to Bomani, he's like, oh, we booked Little Dicky, like you guys are talking all the time. And he's like, I've never met Little Dicky. Huh. huh. Yeah. Well, so you I say this did not happen. Because if it happened, it's a genius move because yeah, you got no, on the show. I didn't. And this guy's very wasn't, strong in you. Yes. It wasn't a finesse. I think probably what happened was Bomani definitely followed me on Twitter or something. There was uh -huh. some Twitter back and forth. And right. when, when I say, if I yeah. said I was talking to Bomani, yeah. like, I've talked to Travis Kelsey for years. I've never met him. We've only Instagrammed the <laughs> end. You know what I mean? So it's like, in theory, I've never actually spoken a word to Travis Kelsey, but I do feel like I've been talking to Travis for years. I think that sure. you could say you're friends with Travis Kelsey. It's borderline, but it's I, a, it's I, a I good agree. time. It's a good time I to agree. buy Travis it, Kelsey. I think I, I can say that. Yeah. I met him once for 17 minutes, and I tell everyone he's well, my no, best friend. Because here's the thing. If Travis Kelsey sees you, he's going to go up to you oh, like you guys hug. are friends. Big exactly big right. Hugs. So you're friends with Travis Kelsey. I agree. I yeah. agree. Yeah. No, it's cool. I, yeah, I, I wish I was smart enough to hustle like that, but no. <laughs> I do like the idea. I'm going to believe it's true. Even, even you though want. you're telling me that it's not, I'm going to believe it's true. Do what you got to do. Yeah. What's the best thing about? What's the best and worst thing about being this famous, your type of famous? I, I personally, first off, I'm like not uh, like some artists are like shy or like don't like attention yeah. or like, you know, and I'm not craving attention, but really at the end of the day, all it really is is people walking up to me and praising me yeah. right. and being like, I love your shit. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's not at an overwhelming Justin Bieber like level. Yeah. It's kind of at the sweet spot where it happens a fair amount, but it's really manageable. It doesn't impact my day. And I'm just kind of showered with praise like throughout my days. So right. I have nothing to complain about. Um, do you like, like. You could probably just show – well, answer this question for me. Sure. Can you show up to, like, a big sporting event or a big concert without a ticket and just get in? Have you reached that type of fame yet? Well, I don't know that – I don't – I feel – I think you have. Well, I definitely would never buy a ticket to anything. I really? I can get free tickets to anything. Okay. That's what's, the be what's the best free ticket you've got? Well, uh, I, like, I was just in New York last week. I was courtside for the Knicks. I was courtside for the Nets. Didn't, you know, I don't pay for any of that. Right. The, the more famous you get, the more free shit you get. <laughs> <laughs> Everything, like I'm sure the sweater was given to me for free somehow. I don't know. You're tired of the free shit, huh? No, I'm not tired. I love it. <laughs> Look, there's Dan Marino right there. <laughs> oh, wow. See, now I, now, yeah, that's cool. Now you're excited. Dan Look at you. Do you think Dan Marino knows you? No way. Really? <laughs> if you want, just get up, go and say, hey, what's up, Dan Marino? I can't. I have too much. Uh, it's too really? weird. What yeah. do you mean? Go say hi to Golik. <laughs> no, he doesn't care about Golik. He cares about Dan Marino. That's right. right. Yeah. <laughs> Look at you. You're starstruck a little bit. You're well, a little dicky, man. It's Marino. Yeah. <laughs> That's Ace Ventura's uh, pride and joy. That's Dan exactly Marino. right. We like to play a game called Marino Montana. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's, that's basically pick the whole one. game. It's <laughs> you gotta, <laughs> that's it. You got to pick one. <laughs> you know, I am i wasn't, like, I can't tell you that I grew up watching these guys to give it the proper eye test. Yeah. You know what right. I mean? I can just tell you, I don't know, statistically, you got to go Montana, right? He's one more. Yeah. Yeah. Marino's Thank right you. There. I know. Marino. Well, he can't hear me. That's true. <laughs> yeah, but you see what he did? He did the rings thing. <laughs> so you, you partners with Mountain Dew and uh, Baja Blast, and you're in a, are you in the commercial with Aubrey Plaza for the Super Bowl? No. You're not? What? No. Why not? What? No, they shoot it separately? I wasn't even. A, I'm not a part of that commercial. No. So you're just here to promote her commercial. I, I prefer not even talking about it. <laughs> We're not talking about her. <laughs> yeah. No, but it is cool. I, I, I'm. Look, I'm. A, I'm. A, I used to be an ad guy. I used. To, I grew up like loving commercials. Got into. I worked in an ad agency. I've written like 15 really? commercials that have been on. Copywriter. Television. Huh? Yeah, I was a copywriter. Wow. Exactly. So I am excited about the prospect of a Super Bowl spot, even for. It, as a fan of the brand, truly, like I, I, even though I'm not in the spot, I respect Aubrey, I respect yeah. Baja no. Blast, and I'm excited to see it. Screw her. No, I like her. No, no, no. She's cool. You no, just said you, you don't want to mention her. Exactly right. No, <laughs> I changed my tune now that, I, now that you got me going. <laughs> yeah, okay, that that's quickly. Fine. Yeah. <laughs> What's the greatest commercial? You like commercials. I, I love commercials. What's the greatest commercial of all time? Because if you're a copywriter, you really love commercials. Wait, what did you write commercials for? Uh, I did a lot of NBA commercials. Really? I have like did 10. You yeah. You, you, Google, like, NBA big playoff campaign. It's back when like words would pop up. Yeah. Like, blah, 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 like, like, and I would, it's all you? I would find the footage, right. like the slow-mo footage. Yes. I would write the words, right. and I would pick the music. 
I like put Mob Deep over the Spurs. Uh -huh. I did all these really cool. I put Usher Climax over like a, a championship. It's really I did great work. Are you excited about Usher? <laughs> I am excited. It's the first concert I ever went to. It was really? Usher. Yeah. Really? Mm. Yeah. Mm. So what I other What other music are you into? Like you like. All like, types, you like Dead and Company, you like... No, I, I, I'm... Uh, since I've become a rapper... I'm trying to get him to go to a show with me. Yeah, since I've ahead. become a rapper, I really kind of more or less exclusively listen to rap music, if not purely for motivation. But I would like rap music the most anyways, but I don't know why. I haven't, like... I've just been, like... I, I listen to a lot of Drake. Really? Yeah. Did you have, like, a... Like, when was the moment you knew, like, holy shit, I fucking made it? For me, it was the first day I put anything out because you got to realize I had been working on this stuff behind the scenes for like three years. All my friends, my family thought I was crazy. I was waiting to put the stuff out until I had like a thing I could put out every week. I put my first video out and it got a million views in the first day. And it was really like, a, I was like, oh, I am who I thought I was. Even though it's a million <laughs> views on a YouTube video isn't right. gonna, like the equivalent of like a TV show with Brad Pitt. I yeah. knew that. Or a commercial with Aubrey Plaza. Exactly. Not to I'm not even, I'm not even exactly, in that. Right? I have 20-year-old yeah. daughters, and I will tell you, they've never been more impressed with their dad than they are today. Hell yeah, you're so. raising them right. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> So you're here with Mountain Dew and Baja Blast. What are you doing with 940 Baja Radio? Just, you look, the drive from Southern California to Vegas is, like, unbearably boring. So I just put together a nice little radio show. You guys nice. know it. Talk really? some talk. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Got some good tunes up there that I selected. So it's just something to ease the pain. Nice. Nice. Yeah. You like sports radio, I think, don't you? I love sports. I grew up 610 WIP. WIP. Come yes. on, Howard Eskin. Are you a Knicks fan, Glenn though? Mac now? Howard Eskin. Uh, uh, a Knicks <laughs> fan? Now Spike Eskin is taking over in afternoon. Yeah, I'm not a Knicks fan. I'm a Sixers fan. I'm a Philly fan. Yeah. You said courtside Knicks. That's I just happen to be in New York. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> but if you were in Philadelphia, you'd be courtside Philadelphia. I don't like the Knicks at all. They're in my division. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Do you love Embiid? Have you met Embiid? I love Embiid. I have met Embiid. I play poker with Embiid. And what? Really? Yeah, it's kind of like, and so on that note, there needs to be, when I play poker with Embiid, I've never even talked about this, there's no limit on the amount of money. Like, it should be everyone, like, has the same amount of chips. Yeah. Yes. He, because he makes, like, 70 million a year. He's, like, buying, his so, he just bullies you because uh -huh. he has more cash. Yeah. So he does, like, he, like, all the time is bluffing or not, and I just can't compete. He can with, lose as much as he we wants. We should all be in money. with you should start exactly with the right. same amount of exactly. money. Exactly. Yes. Uh, blame Daryl Morey. He's the organizer <laughs> mm -hmm. of this game. So you're playing with like 5,000 and Beats playing with like 100,000. Like kind of literally, yeah. Yes. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, uh, one more time on the way out, Mountain Dew. Tell us about it, and uh, we appreciate your time. That is yeah, Mountain Dew. Look, they got a Super Bowl spot coming out that I'm not in. They got uh, <laughs> uh, they got uh, a radio show that I am a part of that you can listen to. And then, look, the, 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 the most important thing is this flavor that is like, Right. A treasure of a flavor that you just could not access except for Taco Bell for 20 years is now really readily available, and everyone should know that. You're great, man. We appreciate the time. Thank you for having me. You got it, man. Goodbye.